I'm Nadia Rosenthal and I'm the scientific director of the Jackson Laboratory here in Bar Harbor. For it, the entire time that the Jax has been in existence, human disease has been at the forefront of the purpose of this laboratory, to generate animal models of disease that would allow us to study the ways in which the human body reacts to various pathogens, to cancer, and to other devastating diseases. And many of the discoveries that have led to cures or at least to treatments for these diseases have their origins here at the Jackson Laboratory. I'm a convert because my entire life has been uh, devoted to working with mice and with uh, the diseases that mice get. But more recently, I've become interested in questions of health. So what is it that makes a healthy mouse? There are all sorts of ways in which we define our own health, but all we define a mouse as healthy is lack of disease. And yet we know that there are whole uh, areas of uh, the human health science that re relate to the way in which humans are able to maintain or improve their health. So we believe that there's a spectrum that goes the whole way from an extremely healthy mouse to an extremely sick one. And by studying that entire spectrum, we believe that we'll be able to understand better how we transit through our lives in a healthy way. And um, that includes the aging process, which of course mice undergo just like we do. All of these different factors have really led me to think about ways in which to change the whole concept of healthcare into healthcare rather than disease care and apply that to our models of mouse physiology as well as disease. The JAX is a unique institution that has global footprints wherever anyone is working on mouse biology. The word JAX means the same thing. Of course that is only the starting point of what I believe the JAX can be for the world at large, not only just the scientific community, but also patients and their advocates.